suspected IPOP members on Thursday allegedly attacked the Onicha Divisional Police Headquarters in Isu community. The hoodlums it was gathered struck around 3.25 p.m. They allegedly set ablaze one of the buildings in the station and four patrol vans. Police spokesperson Lovett Oda confirmed the incident. Ida said one police officer sustained machete court injuries from the attack. She said, Today, being 4th of February 2021, at about 3.25 hours, hoodlums are suspected to be members of the Indigenous People of Biafra IPOP attacked Onicha Divisional Headquarters in Isu, Onicha Local Government Area of Ebony State. Set ablaze the left wing of the division and four patrol vehicles. This followed threats by the proscribed group who are alleging that the police were protecting the Fulani headsmen, who they accused of being responsible for the killing of one of their members, Nwite Njoku. One policeman sustained machete court injuries during the attack and he is responding to treatment in the hospital. Meanwhile, the Commissioner of Police, Ebony State, C.P. Aliu Garba, took an on-the-spot assessment tour of the area and met with the stakeholders in the community to seek ways with the community in carrying out the investigation on the matter. The CP, the Commissioner of Police, while assuring the general public, particularly the residents of the state, of his continued commitment to the protection of lives and properties, urges all to remain law-abiding as normalcy has totally returned to the area. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, where? Another police station has been attacked in Ebony State. And it is being alleged that the attack was carried out by the members of the indigenous people of Biafra. But the question is, how are they sure that it is the members of the IPOP? You know, most times, from the look of things, whenever there is an attack or so, it is the IPOP that is being labeled. Can't there be an attack of such? carried out and uh, it will not be IPOP that will be accused of carrying out the attack. Why is it that every time there is an issue, uh, there's, a, there's an issue of um, probably burning of police stations or attack of such in the south? That is, in the southeast, IPOP will be the first uh, people that will be accused. Well, I don't know I'm just curious, you know. People of the state, that is, youth of the state, can't they want to react to situations and also be involved in such activities? Or is every youth in the Southeast now a member of IPOP? You know, these are narratives that the government would need to clarify. And the police would also need to clarify. Because... I am trying to understand if all Southeasterners are now IPOP members and if all the youths in the Southeast are also now IPOP members. Well, be that as it were, you know, these are some of the issues that requires huge clarification so that everybody would know what is happening. There will be clear court explanation and definition and differentiation between hoodlums you know, youth of the community and IPOP as it were. From the look of things, there is no, there, there is no clear cut differentiation between hoodlums, IPOP members, the youth of the community, or even the community 
people as it were. Because on every attack that is being carried out, the IPOB are the ones that are accused or the, are suspected. So it does not speak well of our government. It doesn't speak well of the people. They need to be sure and they need to investigate and tell us. How do you identify IPOP members? What are the yardstick of the conclusion that the attack was carried out by IPOP members? Could it not be the youth of the society, of the community, of the state? Or could it not be hoodlums? People who just felt that, you know, they want to carry out such an attack based on one or two reasons that they probably have come up with? Are all hoodlums are IPOP members and are IPOP members hoodlums? These are clarification that needs to be made. I am not trying to say that the IPOP members are not capable of carrying out such attack, but I think it is important so as not to heat up the polity, so, that not, so as not to give bad name to another person, or so, so as not to call Peter Paul and uh, Paul Peter, it will be very, very interested, sorry, interesting and uh, very, very correct if the security agencies are sure of those who committed the crime and immediately call out those people so as not to give a wrong impression of another group. Most of the times, we know that when IPOP commits or take, carry out actions or reactions as it were, it is being a uh, Oh, they own up to it. The, the, their leader, most of the times, will definitely speak about the actions or the activities that they carried out. So to a very large extent, it should also be fair to them if the government identifies those who are responsible for such acts and address them as who they are. And not every time when there is an attack of such, when there is a when the police station is built, is burnt down, or when people are attacked, all they call is IPOP, IPOP, IPOP. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. It also could be IPOP that carried it out. I'm not saying it could not be IPOP, but what are the chances? But there are chances as well that it might not be IPOP. So a thorough investigation will help us to find out the true identity of those who carried out these actions, so that when people are, are criticizing or making their remarks, they are directing it to the group or the people who are responsible. And other people would not carry a wrong notion of the group or another person or another group as it were. So this is the reason or the basis on which I am saying that the uh, security agencies need to carry out thorough investigation to ascertain the true identity of those who are responsible for these activities and the evil that has been done to the people of uh, Ebony State. Well, be that as it were, guys, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.